workers, and I can't stress that enough. That's a good thing to keep in mind. And also, we still have a lot of ice to melt in Ontario uh, because of the ice coverage that has been so epic this year. Take a look at this. Peak ice coverage for the Great Lakes, so this includes all the Great Lakes, was March 6, 2014, 92.2%. April 22nd, the coverage was uh, over 33 Usually this week we're at 3%, so it's definitely been a sluggish start this year for the melt. Overnight, cold northerly winds, temperatures not where they should be for this time of year. Tomorrow will still be below average, but warmer than today. Coming up, they look a little cold to me. That's because it was, especially in the morning. Mississauga at 9 a.m. was 3 degrees just three degrees to start the day. Uh, by the afternoon, it's climb up to about nine, 10 degrees. Tomorrow, much the same in terms of temperatures. It will be 11 in Mississauga. We'll see the sun again. However, the winds won't be as strong, so that's gonna make a big difference. For Friday, it's just gonna be seven in Mississauga. We've got some showers moving through, and for the weekend, we're still below average, but it will start to clear out. Here's the timing of the storm. Thursday, we've got it right here in northwestern Ontario. Ahead of that, there are special weather statements in place. Thunder Bay is getting about five to 10 centimeters of snow. The snow is staying in the north around Wawa, Timmins. They're going to see snow. It is staying even north of the Nickel Belt. As you move to Cottage Country, Toronto, uh, it is going to be a rain event for Friday afternoon. And then it slowly clears out for your Saturday and Sunday will be sunny and dry. Toronto, Thursday, 10 degrees. Friday, just 6. And with that cloud cover and rain, it's going to feel a little bit raw out there. For Saturday, 11. And then Sunday, just a high of 9 degrees. For St. Catharines, a similar forecast. A bit warmer on Friday, though, for that area, 15 degrees is the high. Coming up, Suzanne Leonard and meteorologist Doug Gillum will ease, but didn't really quite feel like it. We had some pretty strong winds gusting over 40 kilometers an hour through the afternoon. For Thursday, temperatures are going to be a touch warmer compared to today, and the winds won't be as strong either, so it's going to feel warmer. Toronto, 10 degrees tomorrow. Hamilton, 12. London gets up to 12. Kingston will be close to 8 degrees. Now, the next time we have to worry about rain comes on Friday, unfortunately, during that afternoon commute. Coming up, Mark Robinson shows us what it's like to be face to face with some of the strongest weather on the planet in Storm Hunter's Monster Hurricanes. Comfort. All right, New York on Thursday looking pretty good. If you want to travel, walk through Central Park, do some shopping maybe, getting up to 16 degrees with sunshine all day. Breeze. Now, we did climb up to 9, but those winds weren't helping matters at all. Right out of the north, gusting over 40 to 50 kilometers an hour in southern Ontario. Good news is we're going to be a touch warmer tomorrow, and the winds won't be as strong, but they still will be out of the north. However, we're seeing plenty of sunshine, not worrying about rain until we head into Friday when a system starts to push in. Really, during that commute time home, about 5 to 10 millimeters will come to Mississauga. Coming up, Mark Robinson shows us what it's like to be face-to-face -face with some of the strongest weather on the planet in Storm. Storm Hunters Monster Hurricanes. That you consider the joys of unscheduling. All right, so if you're traveling on Thursday towards Atlantic Canada, really messy here. We're going to see some rain through the Maritimes, freezing rain in St. John's. In southern Ontario, looks good. We'll see the sunshine there, but below average temperatures through the prairie provinces, it is going to be soggy and raining for Vancouver Thursday afternoon with a high of 12. Calgary, it's getting up to 12 with a mix of sun and cloud. Looks great there. Toronto getting up to 10. Ottawa will be 10. Halifax, 5. St. John's, plus 1. Be mindful again of that freezing rain. And there's not only flooding that we have to talk about, but the ice coverage, which has been pretty impressive this year. Now, the ice coverage peaked March 6 at 92.2% across the Great Lakes. April 22nd, the coverage was 33.9%. And guess what? Usually for this week, it's closer to 3% ice coverage. So there's still a lot of flooding potential to go across the Great Lakes. Now, as we look at the overnight conditions, temperatures are going to be uh, warming up a little bit into tomorrow afternoon. Also, we're not going to see the winds as strong as they were earlier today. For Thursday, they'll be sustained at about 15 kilometers an hour for Toronto, but still out in the north. Now, earlier today in Oakville, you can see people wearing their hats. I mean, you might have stepped out earlier today and thought, I need a warmer jacket. That's because it was quite cold out there. We were below average. Tomorrow, much the same, but the winds aren't as strong. Toronto will be 10 degrees on Thursday. It will be 8 in Kingston, 10 in St. Catharines. Hamilton will be 12. Now, the next time we have to worry about rain coming through, is for Friday. It's going to come just in time for that afternoon commute across southern Ontario, bringing Toronto about five millimeters. Coming up, we're going to count down the top five wonderful winter creations. 
So I know that countdown maybe reminded you of winter, which you don't want to think about anymore, but there is the beautiful side to the season. Now, earlier today, we were below average in terms of temperatures. In Kitchener, Waterloo, it reached a high of 10 degrees. You can hear the winds. Uh, they gusted up to 47 kilometers an hour at the peak, and it was a very strong northerly wind. So that's why it felt a lot colder, too. Through the overnight, in terms of the winds, anything in this orange color is wind sustained between 20 to 40 kilometers an hour, so close to the shorelines. Yeah, it's going to be windy, but by tomorrow afternoon, notice the colors starting to lighten up. It's going to not be as gusty tomorrow afternoon, but the winds will still be out of the north. However, we're still seeing the sunshine, so it will be cool but fair. Temperatures not quite where they should be tomorrow again across the area. And then we have this next system to talk about, which has prompted a special weather statement for areas like Thunder Bay. It's going to be 10 to 15 centimeters of snow. But I have good news. This is not going to bring southern Ontario snow for Friday afternoon. This is going to be a rain event, so we're warm enough for that. Kitchener will be 7 degrees. We're seeing about 5 to 10 millimeters of rain, generally speaking, when the system comes through. But it comes through in the afternoon, just in time for that commute in Toronto. Coming up, Kim McDonald is back with the